It is Saturday here at the Bay Area Car Show. Super excited for the show because Steven is gonna be tabling. I'm gonna be walking around trying to make some deals. So let's see what happens at the show. So this was the last Bay Area Car Show for the year. It's kinda of nice to stay local after traveling quite a bit the past few weeks. And if you haven't watched those vlogs, make sure to take a look at the channel because I've been going everywhere. Anyways, if you've seen, this is their first Bay Area Card Show vlog, you know that there's a bunch of wax here, both modern and vintage. Last time I was at the show, some of the vintage dealers weren't there, but they were here this time, so I was pretty happy about that. But it's a, overall a really good show in Florida. It happens once a month. And if you're over here, I'd recommend to take a look at it because you can find some great deals. And you'll see what I end up picking up in this vlog as well. I was pretty happy with it. So instead of a sponsorship for this video, I wanted to give a shout out to Ryan Card Collector too. He's doing a toy drive where he's donating toys to Columbus's PD Operation Thin Blue Line. It's where he gives toys to children that had traumatic experience as Christmas presents. I thought it was a really good cause. This is their fourth year doing that. So I decided to donate two different games that I like playing, which is both Codenames and Monopoly. You guys can click the link down in the description down below to go over to his channel and watch the full video and donate some toys to kids this Christmas season. All right, first deal here done at the show. I'm getting this lot of parts for $900. So I got this as a throw-in right here for the Justin Herbert people love Herbert, but it's really a vintage lot headlined by this 1953 Jackie Robinson and you also have the 69 Reggie Jackson ton of awesome cards You can see some others as well right here. So we got all this for $900 So I wanted to share with you guys some history of the 1953 Topps baseball set. First, Jackie Robinson was card number one, which if you look on vintage cards, the first card and the last card in the set always go for a little bit extra. But the reason why this card isn't so expensive and it was actually double printed, so there's a ton of them out there. One other thing which is kind of cool about 1953 Topps is there's a few different cards that were missing. The rumor is that there was a contract negotiation between Bowman and Topps for different players at the time. And because Bowman ended up signing some of the players, the cards did not actually ever come out in packs. This is what you can see over here on Cardboard Connection. 253, 261, 267, 68, 71, and 75 do not actually exist. And if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about that history, I have a video on my channel, which is talking about the Topps versus Bowman in the 1950s. The show, I got this 1947. Willie Pep, he has the most wins as a boxer. I have to show my friend, he knows a lot more than awesome. So we're going to be doing 125, going straight to PC right here, the John Schmoltz, then a Cal Ripken Jr. And all of this bolt right there. It's about one o'clock. How's the table been so far? What's up guys? Table's doing pretty well. It's a little bit slow to start, but now we're starting to get our momentum and like a snowball, it just ramps up and all of a sudden, all the deals start coming in, whether trading or selling, and it's all going pretty well. I'm happy here and it's just good vibes. I'm selling to think cards to people in person and on Twitter at the same time. So a little bit multitasking. Sixty-one Mays, sixty-four Mays. Just bought these at the Clearwater Card Show. Thanks a lot, Ryan. No, uh, I was actually I was curious if he wanted. He's like, no, I don't really do baseball like that. Okay. I want to see what. So I just picked up that bulk lot of cards for $600 and that's the way to end a card show. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Next weekend I'm going to be doing both the Orlando card show and one also in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mm -hmm.